So I didn't get to have fun, and they look at me imploding, but, uh, <laughs> you know, you have to put on your um, scaphander or this, uh, this spacesuit. Uh, I had to train in putting on and taking it off really fast, uh, within 30 to 45 seconds. Um, moving bundles, 500-pound weights, you know, lifting it up just with one finger, that type of stuff. It's just really cool. But you have to get out of the way when you get the, you know, the two Gs. <laughs> when you come down, you don't want to be underneath it. Um, and then let's see what else, other kind of training, the centrifuge. Um, and it goes around and around and around. It gives you, um, I had to train up to seven. And my training in Russian was a little weird because they gave me a French teacher to teach me Russian. <laughs> he spoke no English, so I thought, I guess they thought I would learn it faster, but I didn't. But uh, you know, Russian is great. I mean, I would definitely suggest if you're thinking about going into um, a space field to speak Russian because all the NASA astronauts do when they're used to it, you take it. And that's something I had no clue going to Russia. I was like, I'm speaking Russian. But every everything, my lectures, everything were completely 100% in Russian. And, uh, so it was it was quite exciting, and, and it was nice to you know, learn a different culture. Very nice because up in the International Space Station, it's half Russian, half American, and uh, you, you have to learn both. On one side of the ISS, it's completely all the Russian segment is different voltage, different everything. You know, American segment, it's you know, can we get a sample? Oh. A sample of Russian? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I got a little Russian. Thank you. Speak Russian a little bit. What does that mean? So, uh, yeah. You have to retrain people uh, when you do blood. Uh, definitely, it'll be a, a, some more training. It'll be a refresher course. Um, I would have to go through mainly the whole training again, but it'll be a, a little faster because I do know. I've already been through all the classes and I know what I'm doing. It's just the main thing, like I said, 80% is emergency training. So you really need to refresh yourself because you need to know in a split second what to do just in case something is going on. So, and, and being a space tourist, even in Soyuz, is, you have, there's only three people in there, you have certain responsibilities. I mean, I control all the oxygen and everything on board. So you really have to be very